Hey everybody, it's uh, day 191 on my journey to 2000 uh, on chess.com and I'm on a two game winning streak right now, although the last game I don't think I truly deserved the win. Um, I wasn't winning by any means, I just I got lucky when my opponent ran out of time. Uh, that being said, I did announce that I'm learning a new opening uh, yesterday, so I'm starting to become familiar with the Vienna, and the Vienna Gambit seems pretty interesting. I'm wondering if anybody in the 1200, 1300 range will will fall for the Gambit, um, but that has yet to be uh, yet to be seen. Uh, let's see who I'm playing today. Naveen ninety nine. <clears throat> Naveen ninety nine out of India. We've got the Karo Khan defense and <laughs> still have yet to learn C five, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do the normal line of the advanced variation. and advance this. Oh my goodness, I just realized the mic wasn't anywhere close to me. I'll have to fix that in post. I am gonna take this pawn and then retreat my bishop down here. I don't think I've played against this uh, specific line uh, before, but we'll see what happens. Um, definitely need to start thinking about castling. So I know Sometimes they say knights before bishops, but I think uh, I think I'll be okay if I go this route. Hmm. I think I'm going to get my knight out here. They might take my bishop. I'll recapture with the knight and then I can still castle. I was a little worried about moving this knight because then I'd have to recapture with a pawn and leave an open file around my king, but this allows me to still be able to castle. Um, and now I've got, I think I can take, and if they recapture here, then I can check. And then win this pawn. Or at the very least, I can capture and then just take the pawn with my knight. Now I know I still need a castle. That'll get their king into the center of the board, allowing me to exploit it a little bit more. Thanks for the kind words on my uh, guitar performance the other day. I don't know how often I'll get that opportunity, but maybe I'll make it a thing that if 
my opponents uh, just abandon the game and I've got time left, maybe I <clears throat> maybe I bring out the guitar. take with check here, gain momentum, they can't escape to there. And then after castle, I'll probably take this pawn. Unless I can take the pawn now with check and still. But if check, take, check, and they come in with check, then my king's gonna be exposed as well. Um, let's see, is there another, is there a checkmate opportunity in this? Check, take, check. They have to move here or here, and then I can take their, yeah. I'm gonna do that. Actually gonna do this and then then castle, yeah. And then get a little castle ruski. Time check. Seven minutes and thirty seconds, move sixteen compared to eight minutes and thirty seconds of my opponent. seeing a checkmate possibility here I go here and I go check hmm. maybe not There's probably something there. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and castle so nobody in the comments yells at me. I delayed it longer than I probably should have. Can't update Chrome. Let's see, how do I, how do I do a thing with this? Maybe rook here, then throw in a check. Yesterday, 1400 seems so far away. Somebody had suggested I play the Yesterday song, and those were the lyrics that I came up with. Okay, let's see. Let's get another. 
player in the mix here. And then this one will begin. Still have this move check, but then get to sneak away back there. Okay, gotta worry about back rank issues. So I'm just gonna do that now. Cause I was thinking, hey, do I take? And then they recapture, I recapture, they recapture, I recapture, they come in and checkmate me. Bishop to b5, silently. Good thing I'm paying attention. That actually, I think, opens up a move where I can queen here, threaten mate if I can get rid of that bishop. They have to find a way to defend it. Go here, attack this pawn. I can't get too confident here. Although I like my position, I've blundered. <laughs> I've blundered and better positions than this in my journey. Naveen, 99, out of India, okay. So they do in fact make the move. I'm gonna follow through on my plan here. they take here I do in fact take the rook the queen recapturing kind of fools my plan of targeting that square but I think at that point
I take here. Come down for a check. I go here. They can't check me again because I got this square protected. If I take here, rook comes over, I can just throw in checks. comes over, I can come over here. Yeah. Past pawn right there. I should probably start thinking of how I'm going to. Um... All right, so this move threatens that square. This check wins me the pawn. I now have more time than my opponent. So maybe this, they come back here and then I check and take it. Careful. This square attacking my queen. Because I can take it. But if there's a bishop on this diagonal and then one of these guys come down, that's crazy. Go ahead and take. They might come down with a check here. I retreat here. And then they, if they try and check me with this or with this, then I can take or take. So I think I'm, oh, but then they got this check. That's okay. At that point, I can just offer the queen exchange and rely on this past pawn to win me the game. I think I'm in okay shape here. Necessarily know if it's worth going after this pawn. I mean, they still have pretty decent pieces on the board. 
so I might need to think about putting some pressure on the king here and advancing this guy. These two pawns are passed. Mm hmm. Knights under attack. This blocks off this diagonal for the queen. Doesn't really do much else. This gets taken, this gets taken, taken. So I'm thinking this square to retreat. or defend this square. Wait a, wait a tick. If I defend with this square, they check. Wait. Defend with this square, check. I go here, they take. Okay, then I can take. All right. I think I'm going to defend. Because then I'm still attacking this pawn. I've got this square covered in case they want to come back here. Time is of the essence, ladies and gentlemen. Two minutes compared to one minute and 20 seconds. My opponent seems to be running low on time. Okay, so with that queen move, now I can force something going on here and then come over and take this pawn.
Let's threaten the queen. I come down for check, I come here. They could go here, but then I can block. And I went on time. Hello, YouTube. Leo the Fire. <laughs> Good game, Naveen. Oh, Leo. All right, that wraps up day 191. Let's see. Uh, let's see how the analysis panned out. <clears throat> I played with 77% accuracy, so not my finest. Um, I didn't have any blunders, any misses. One mistake, but seven inaccuracies. My opponent had one blunder and three mistakes. Let's see where this all went wrong. Well, I guess it went right. I won. So that was an inaccuracy. The engine like developing the night a little bit better. Uh, giving them the center knight, attacking my bishop, I retreat. Inaccuracy there, good move, good move, best move. There's a mistake, do I capitalize on it? Yes, with the best move. So I have a 1.4 advantage on the eval bar right now. After takes, takes, best move, uh, there's a blunder on their behalf. Do I capitalize on it? No. I could have and should have maybe thrown in a check here. Yes. That was the best move. They defend it like this, and I take and still have them in check, or they have to move. At which point I can throw in a check that way. So, yeah, but it eventually happened, um, just not in the sequence that the engine would have preferred. I think I I took this knight to pull the bishop away so that after check I could take this pawn and not have it be defended. I didn't realize that if I had checked, they would have had to move there and then I could have thrown in some other checks. Um, but this, this actually helped me a lot because uh, I got the king on the move inaccuracy there, the engine liked. Advancing the pawn a little bit better, preparing for like this check or just taking the bishop. But after takes, takes, check, I've got the king on the run. Um, the engine likes queen e3 a little bit better. King's still on the run here. And I get my castling wasn't the best move. I could have kept up the pressure, but. Um, I didn't want to leave room for this move because uh, then I would have had to move my king. Uh, good move, inaccuracy, good move, good move, best move, best move, good move to leave a little loof for the back rank threat. Bishop comes in, which is the best move, a good move, best move, and a mistake. Did they capitalize on it? No. So it's a mistake. What could have been a better move for me? Get the knight out or they get the bishop out? That's a mistake as well. What's the best move here? To take. That's interesting. I didn't want to open up this file. But after takes, 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 takes was there a th maybe they do this instead no because that's easy i can easily get out of it and then after takes ah that's cool i can take that pawn because of the pin on the on the king very interesting. All right, so they probably they 
probably would recapture here, and then I can come over and check with the, oh no, not that move, because the queen's there. At this point, I would go knight c4. Again, because this is pinned. But they should have offered the queen exchange by taking with the queen it would have somewhat equalized the game and I would have fallen to kind of the same thing I'm used to doing is getting a decent lead in the middle game and then converting it to an end game I would have fallen a little bit short of what I wanted so I left that open um, but after takes, 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 these are all good moves. And inaccuracy there, the engine liked repositioning the knight to c6. Probably in an effort to get a fork of the king and the queen. Good move, good move. There's a mistake. Do I capitalize on it? Yes, so by getting rid of this bishop, it comes there, which is a mistake. Uh, taking was actually a mistake. I should have just taken the pawn. And those are the situations where I see this move and I think, oh, I'm, I'm winning now. So if I can take pieces off the board, it's good for me, but there's always better better moves I can do, which I eventually take and then move my rook over to attack the queen and my opponent ran out of time. So that's when they probably would have thrown in this check. I would have gone h7. They could have gone d3 check and then I would have probably advanced to this one. I, there was a, a, I was worried here for a little bit of getting too defensive. And that is, it's like if I, if I move here, then they can just check me. And so let's block that check with this move, right? So I, but then if that was the case, they come down for the check, I come over this way, and then they checkmate me. So I did see that in the game, which prevented me from moving that pawn, and I, there was a split second I was thinking about that move, and I talked myself out of it really quickly. So all in all, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this game. Um, always room for improvement, but uh, there's a three-game winning streak for you. Uh, thanks for your support. I'll see you next time.